Hi everybody, it's Mirav, and this is an overview of your Joomla admin interface. Let's start from left to right. We're going to go briefly over every item, and later you can view other videos that explain everything else. The control panel is basically where you are now. It has some buttons that will take you to areas that you might or might not need to use. I usually don't use it, but you might find it helpful. The next item is the user manager. This is where you add, edit, delete different users of your site, set permissions, enable them or disable them, and stuff like that. Moving on, media manager. This is where you manage all your media, images, videos, documents, and everything else. You can create new folders, you can delete items, add items, and everything like that. Next item global configuration. That's a really important area of your site because you can manage a lot of stuff here. For example, which is your default HTML editor, your search engine optimization settings. I would recommend to not really touch any of this for now, except for changing the site name. That's the only thing I would like you to do, to change it to your own site name. But really, don't touch all the other elements, because this is advanced stuff, and I wouldn't want you to mess everything up. OK, next item on our list is log out. We're not going to click on it, because that is going to log us out. The menu item allows you to manage all your menus. So as you can see, right now we have one, two, three, four menu items, and we even have a menu trash. And here's where we manage all the menus, meaning we add new menus, we delete menus, and stuff like that. Let's close this window. The next menu on the list is the content menu. This is where you manage all your content, your articles. You have an article trash. You can find stuff that you deleted before. This is where you manage your sections and your categories and your front page manager, which is something we're not going to get into right now. Next one is components. These are the features of your website. You have a, a few by default, and I've added a few for you to enjoy. I, I added for you jump comment, I do my sidebar, which is one of our extensions, search and archive and RSS, and I also added a component that allows you to manage files that I recommend that you don't touch for now until you feel more comfortable with Joomla. But either way, this is where all the features, the different features of your site, and you can add new features as well later on when you are a little bit more familiar with Joomla. Extensions is the different add-ons for Joomla. So here you can install and uninstall. I recommend you don't go there for now until you're more comfortable with Joomla. Module manager, manager is where you manage all your modules. Now I talked about it a little bit in other videos, but I'm going to explain it again. Modules are everything that are on the sides. It can be on the right side, it can be on the left side, it can be at the bottom, it can be here on top. These are modules. So the module manager allows you to manage all these modules, change the location of the modules, add new modules, and stuff like that. Plugin manager is another type of add-ons, the plugins. You really don't know, you don't need to know anything about it right now, so we're going to leave it at that. Just don't go there. Later on, when you are more familiar with Joomla, you, you might want to visit this page, but not right now. The template manager is actually something that you might need if you want to change the default template, which I'm sure you will want. So this is where you manage all your templates. You can also install new templates later on. And the language manager is useful if you're using a different language than English. This is where you would uh, install new languages, manage the current languages, and stuff like that. Tools is something you don't really need to know anything about right now. It's, even when you are familiar with Joomla, it's really not that useful, so don't worry about it. 
And help, again, it's not something you really need to know right now as a beginner. So this is it for, the, for an overview of iJoomla uh, for Joomla backend. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.